right guys we have made it to roswell we are staying at trailer village rv park Brittany took an assignment traveling assignment here in roswell so this will be our home base while we're here days off we'll obviously go out we're gonna explore go boondock see some things like carlsbad caverns white sands um, but then we also in this video now that we're here we're getting situated we're going to get in the van get some things situated and then talk to you guys exactly why we switched from the Integra Ethos to the Tabata. Alright guys, so we're finally going to explain why we traded in the Integra Ethos for the Winnebago Travado. I guess, you want to go first or? Yeah. Well everything was fine when we first bought it. We didn't even go to the dealership thinking we were even going to purchase the van that day. The Ethos just happened to be there and we really liked the look of it and we thought at the time that it had everything that we were going to need. Um, and I guess it's hard to pinpoint when the problems first started but the one I remember is the first time I tried to take a shower and it was freezing and then we couldn't get any hot water the entire time. And that was way at the beginning of owning it that I remember. Do you remember any problems before that? Uh, just mm, typical RV problems. Like we had a, a uh, piece of trim fall off while we were driving to Florida the second day of owning it. But that's neither here or there. That's expected, you know, with, a, with an RV, unfortunately, which is something I should say. People that own RVs, you guys need to stop with this like mantra that when you buy something new, you should expect issues. Because that's not the way that it works in the world with any businesses. You know, I was in corporate management for over 10 years. And the businesses I worked for, we would have went out of business if that was our mantra. So we need to stop allowing that to be a thing and put a little bit more pressure on the manufacturers uh, to actually stop just trying to push quantity and build a little bit better quality um, but that's a side note that's something that really irritates me about the RV community I've had RVs since I was a little kid grew up with it. everybody in my family went camp to camp the whole summer every single summer so I've been around in my whole life and it's always been that way unfortunately probably for like the last 15 20 years previous to that people actually built a little bit better quality for the most part um, but uh, let's get back on track <laughs> that's just something that irritates me that what we should uh, all address and do our part and making them uh, be held accountable but those things you know unfortunately you expect them uh, but it was really the hot water and then obviously testing out the heat for the Truma system we had so our Truma system was completely shot no good and then the control panel dial wouldn't work. Uh, we had it working intermittently when we tried it at first, um, but we had never had a system with a with a Truma in it. Never had a unit with a Truma system, so I didn't know if the dial was supposed to be kind of a hard press dial. Um, come to find out, not the way it's supposed to be. Here in our Travado works beautifully. We've used the heat, the hot water, both work great. Um, so that was kind of an issue that arose and then we joined the group online for the uh, Integra Ethos owners and wannabes and from there a lot of people started having similar issues to do with electrical um, and then just kind of build quality that was very subpar to our standards and everybody's on there and there were things that we could have went through and got fixed and I could have done put in my time and energy uh, kind of reinforcing some of the build uh, issues uh, especially with the bed um, so we had the split bed it was the 20t so they were the two beds that you could join together to make a king bed but unfortunately the supports in it and the design was just very poor so I was scared to even get on top of it it would bust through and uh, pretty much everybody in that Facebook group had that same issue um, and reported it and it's a big big complaint and then it was just uh, once we uh, put on the ladder I noticed there was no insulation whatsoever in the rear doors 
and then started to look at other people's uh, repairs they were having done and talking to them about the insulation behind the walls. Um, and it was just, uh, it was not great for a four season uh, rig. So uh, going through those issues, like I said, we could have got them addressed, fixed. Um, well, you know, we tried. That's kind of another thing. It was, this has nothing to do with the Integra itself, it has to do with where we purchased it. Um, just horrible, horrible experience. Um, and I'll just come out. It was La Mesa and Albuquerque, but Albuquerque was good to us. Um, it was, we left after we got the rig and had to go right to Florida for Brittany to start a travel nurse assignment. So when we got to Florida, we had to look for the ones that were closest to us. We were in St. Petersburg and Brittany had family south of there. So it was just convenient for us to go down um, to Fort Myers, Fort Myers. Fort yeah. Myers. And it was just a horrible experience there working with them. And because of our videos we had put out, um, we had actually got some high ups at La Mesa reaching out to us and um, them speaking with people over at Integra slash Jayco and then correspondence. But we had some great people, uh, at least at Jayco originally reaching out to me uh, via email because they saw our videos and they helped me out with this, the Firefly system that was on there. So that was, that was excellent, but it was just mainly with La Mesa's uh, service. And it, it was one of those things, we know it's a crazy year, tons of people buying RVs, wait times are just nuts. But it was when the higher ups at La Mesa had already emailed them, let them know our issues, you know, told them about our video so they could check it out. And they knew the issues and for our Truma, for example, they just want, we're replacing that knob on the, uh, little Truma control panel and that wasn't the issue our Truma itself did not work um, and then come to find out and this kind of goes back to La Mesa Albuquerque they had filled our propane system <laughs> not with propane <laughs> so uh, that was the issue with the Truma system so and we finally got in, we got it, everything fixed. And that's when we decided, because of just the service with La Mesa, um, there in Florida where we were, and just the bad taste, um, that, you know, is probably time to dish out more money and go with something that is, has better reputation, better quality, and isn't a first year product. And I will say the ethos overall looks wise and everything, looks great, it does. and I'm not, you know, trying to knock that at all. I think it's a great design and it's a first year model. So they'll get it hammered out. Um, that was kind of on us. I would say don't get a first year model, let them hammer out the issues. Uh, but then we started really thinking about our uses. So Brittany in Florida was working at an offsite uh, doing COVID testing. And I just hung out there during the day because I could just hang out the van and do what I had to do while she was working. And then it got us thinking, you know, this this AGM solar system is is not what we need. We need a lithium system when we want the best. So we had already started watching videos on other rigs because when we did research, we had seen tons of tons of different um, vans, and we just kept coming back to the uh, Volta system, the Volta Pier Three system. So we went and looked at some Travados, but we didn't want to do the split beds. We realized we hated the split beds. So that's now why we are here in the 59 GL has the bed we like we love the bathroom design and the Volta system is the best out there it's hands down the best and having this area where we're sitting right now in the front that was also a huge yeah so for us too you know having the dining area up here in the front is if you go back to our video where we do our tour of our ethos you will see you do not have an area like this so Brittany usually works nights that means i'm awake during the day this now gives us the separation of two areas so i can do what i have to do up front while she's sleeping not disturb her i can make food not really bother her so it's uh, just going to work out better you know we'll probably put up some type of curtain or something across uh, the bed area and give us the separation we need so I hope that kind of covers everything why we switched um, went with a more expensive unit but to us it was worth it we want something that's tried and true the kinks are worked out 
it has the Volta system, which is just the best out there. It meets every need we want um, because we prefer, even though we're at a campsite, like I said, um, it's uh, one of those things where we would rather be out boondocking if we can. And with her schedule, it allows us to boondock, you know, about half the week. Um, so this is our home base for now. Whenever we go anywhere, we have a home base, you, uh, you know, being usually a campsite. And then we'll get out and boondock and with the Volta system allows us to do that. Go out, go hiking, whatever, and leave the cat uh, in here with the AC running if it's hot out and not have to worry. And, you know, we'll get a, we're gonna get, actually get a pet uh, temperature monitor uh, as a backup, of course, cause you never know things happen. So we're gonna get that before we actually, you know, test the waters and leave the cat here. If and anyone has any out. recommendations for those, let us know in the comments. We've been looking. Well, I should say Neil has. Yeah, so if any of you have any of the uh, pet temperature monitors, the pet monitors, uh, just leave it down in the comments. Let us know what you have, what you like. Uh, if you can, include the price in there. We wanna see what we have for options across the board. I've been doing a lot of research, so it's uh, everybody has their favorites, but it'd be cool to hear what you guys have and what you like. And I just, like, like we said, we hope this covers why we switched. It really had nothing to do with the, the looks of the, uh, the ethos, but it was a first year model, had its kinks. We got them worked out, so we could have kept it, we'd be fine right now. Um, but it just didn't meet our needs in the end. Um, so I guess that old saying is you, you, know, you buy maybe one, two RVs before you realize what you need is true and it, it took us uh you know making that that choice to get the ethos and realizing it wasn't for us to um kind of hammer out what exactly we needed so hope you enjoyed leave comments down below ask any questions give us your uh, recommendations for the pet monitor we appreciate it thanks for watching we hope you enjoyed the little trip here from albuquerque to roswell and we have uh, some more things planned upcoming Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. We'd love that. Thanks guys. See you next time.